Well, blessed people, what a wonderful opportunity to come to you again. I know that you're all gathered and assembled in your respective altars all over this land and all over the world. People are tuned in all over in their churches in the different time zones, all the way from Australia and New Zealand to the entire of Asia that are many hours ahead of us here, and then the entire of China, the whole of Africa, Europe, North America, the Americas in Central America, South America, the islands, tuned in, blessed people, this morning. So it's such a great blessing to come to you this morning, uh, precious people in your respective churches and altars. And we wanted to give some time for all people to be given the opportunity to arrive and go through gate one. Now, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me this past night, and the Lord has poured more anointing upon me, a fresher anointing, a greater anointing, very much aware that I had said I would come to you. The Lord has placed the leaves of the tree of life on my hands, and I've seen the tremendous flourishing, very powerful. I've seen that when I come to bless you in your churches right now, where you are gathered today, Sunday, at this time, gathered in your respective churches, today, Sunday, the 2nd of October, the year 2022, about 10.52 a.m. in the morning, the Lord already showed me that when I come to greet you, to bless you, to bless the Church of Christ, at this very critical hour, critical juncture in the life of the Church, creepers will get up and walk away, blind would see, the deaf would hear, the mute tongues would be released and they would speak, they would be loosed. Paralytics would get up and walk away. The lame legs would be pulled, stretched, and stepped down and walk away. Spinal cord injuries healed. Chronic wounds healed. Diabetes disappear. Cancers and tumors disappear. Dissolve and dry out of your bodies. And so I'm coming to you at this very important time, blessed people, when the Messiah is coming. When the Lord has sent me to announce to you the coming of the Messiah, and so it serves me such a great honor and privilege and blessing to come to you at this time, the Church of Christ, that heaven is so much waiting for, the Holy Church, that in your worship today you may pursue holiness and righteousness and right standing with the Lord. And so right now, even as you and your churches gathered with all the sick, you have taken care of the disabled, you have recorded the gate one, gate one. For those who are new today in this broadcast, gate one is the recording before the healing. We are very strict on that. And so I decree now in the mighty name of Jesus, by the authority of the power that the Lord God the Father has bestowed upon me, has placed in my tongue, I decree now with the tongue of the Lord, the mouth of the Lord, that the Lord will bless you, and that let the cripples get up and walk away in the mighty name of Jesus. And let the blind eyes pop open today owing to this blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. And let the deaf ears also pop open today, moving forward from today on in the mighty name of Jesus. And let, let the mute tongues also be loosened that they may be able to say, Jesus, yes, hallelujah that they may praise the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm also decreeing and commanding the legs that are lame and short to be stretched, a miracle of creation, columns to be created and turned and strengthened and faced down, that the lame may throw their crutches and walk away in the mighty name of Jesus. The cancers, the internal organs, diabetes, enlarged hearts, hypertension, blood conditions, leukemias, Every disease and disability under the sun, I today subject you under the authority of the enormous, eternal, wonder-working blood.
blood of Jesus. So I've come to bless senior churches, blessed people, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I've decreed today that this revival that began, began last week, is going to escalate. It's going to escalate that creepers will get up and walk away, owing to this decree, owing to the words of my tongue. I've seen tremendous healings that will take place across the land and across the nations out there. That today, owing to this decree, this command, I command the crippled legs to strengthen, get up and walk away, the blind to see, the deaf to hear, the mute to speak, paralytics walk, spinal cord injuries healed, broken knees, broken hips be fully, fully healed, and you may be made whole, the internal organ, the heart conditions, the liver conditions, the kidney failures, those under dialysis, the large heart, the spleen, the intestine. I have decreed the eternal wonder-working blood of Jesus to cover all of you in all your churches all over this land and all over the nations abroad, those tuned in, in the mighty name of Jesus. So I have blessed you today as the Church of Christ, and I have lifted up my left prophetic hand towards heaven, towards the Lord God, my Father, my sender, my friend, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one that has sent me to prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. And as I lift up this hand up to help you in the mighty name of Jesus, let the cripples get up and walk away. The blind eyes see light for the first time. Their fears open and become very sensitive. Let those who are lame step down and strengthen, the legs be strengthened and begin to walk and balance. The spinal cord injury be totally erased from your lives, those that are ailing and different conditions from cancer, diabetes, hypertension, leukemias, and all the organs be fully restored in the mighty name of Jesus. I have blessed you today in the most tremendous, most excellent, most powerful, the enormous eternal name of Jesus, covering you in the eternal blood of Jesus, that this revival may now escalate, that you are... Creepers may get up and walk. In fact, I see a lady that is creeper. She's blind. I don't know whether she's also crippled because she's lying down and she's not young. A girl, she's not young and she's lying down. The eyes are blind. The Lord is going to open those blind eyes. I don't know whether she's also crippled because I see as if she's lying on her back or side. And so I have seen the tremendous healing that will come out of this decree. So receive your healing, everybody. I have blessed you, dear families, blessed your revival. I've also blessed every single aspect of your life as this healing anointing I've released visits you in your respective churches. So it shall be according to the words of my tongue that you may know that the Messiah is coming, that you may prepare in earnest, in holiness and righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I have decreed amen and amen. Amen.